Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. Welcome back to Hard Mode. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. I've got to say, I wasn't expecting to be making money yet. I didn't think Nerdrasoft was going to have anything remotely successful for at least a few years. Now, admittedly, we are five years into this company. We started in 1980. It is now May of 1985, and Bucket released in December of 84. Last month, it turned over $50,000, and generally, it has managed to make money despite not actually turning a profit yet. But that's okay. I can't say I'm particularly worried about that. Uh, we are, of course, working on bucket number two, which is due in April of 86. It's currently in its first iteration in the design phase. And so that is mostly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be focusing on getting bucket two out the door and hoping that it is as good. Well, we would hope it's going to be better than the first one. Now, interestingly, we are struggling to keep up with support for Bucket, which is not good at all, but hopefully that's something we can figure out and hopefully that's not going to hurt sales too much. Now, if it does happen to hurt sales, we're going to need something to fall back on a little bit. Not that I think we're going to run out of money anytime soon, but I do want something to fall back on. And that's actually where you come in. Yes, you sitting right there doing whatever you're doing whilst watching this video. I've been reading the comments, and a bunch of you mentioned that I should look into design deals. I should look into getting a receptionist as quickly as possible and seeing what I can do about getting some design work going on. So I figure that's probably what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and get a receptionist and see how things go. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the layout of this office should necessarily be for a receptionist but i guess what we could do is maybe move this table down to this corner we could maybe move this water cooler and put it you know maybe here i don't think it matters that it's blocking that vent and then in theory if i go into build mode i can get my hands on a reception desk right so i could go and get this very basic reception desk i can essentially put it right here <laughs> and uh well maybe we'll maybe put it this way i don't know <laughs> i don't know that i like this i'm gonna be honest it does look a little bit silly but apparently apparently this is a good thing apparently this is something i should do so uh <laughs> as as stupid as it may look we're gonna go for it we're gonna go for it and we're gonna see what happens so let's manage some staff let's hire a receptionist for $2,500 a month and let's see what happens, right? We'll see. We'll see how things go. Maybe this is a way that we will make massive amounts of money. And, uh, you know, looking at it, this support situation is pretty dire, but we'll see what happens. We're still making money, so that's okay. Are we going to have a receptionist come in? We, we do have reception. <laughs> it's just silly just seeing this person standing there. It's really, really dumb. But uh, yeah, we have some deals. We actually have some deals. We'll speed things up. We have two. We have print jobs and manufacture. Are you serious? Seriously? You're going to give me printing jobs and manufacturing jobs. Okay. Let me filter this. The only thing I'm interested in is uh, <laughs> it's design. Just give me design jobs. That's the only thing I really care about. And thus far, I don't think I'm getting any. <laughs> All right. Well, at least the reception desk is working, even if it's uh, even if it's not making me any money yet. At least it's it's working, and I've got that going for me. Now, a little something something that I have gone ahead and done is I've increased the priority of the update for Bucket. We're going to version 1.2.1. We have over 200 bugs in here. And we are about to be done, so we'll finish that update, which means we can focus on the support for buckets. And I'm curious to see, I suppose, how things go. So last month we did uh, $44,000. We have 145 units in stock, so I'm going to go ahead and order, let's say, 2,500 uh, copies just to make sure we have enough in stock. We are at 14,004, let's say 14,500 users. 
is that going to go up at all? It's going to go to 14,777. So yes, it did go up and I would imagine people are happy that we've managed to update this thing and, and keep it good. Uh, we've yet to have any design deals come in, of course, which is pretty standard. And uh, I will say, <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned that it's August and we haven't moved this thing into alpha yet. So let's just move it along into its next iteration and honestly develop it. I'm, I'm, it needs to be, this thing needs to be decent. It needs to be, it needs to be something because if it's a disappointment, I'm going to be disappointed. It's that simple, right? The fans aren't the only ones that are going to be annoyed at, uh, at Bucket not being very good, or at least the new Bucket not being very good. It's also interesting that marketing, I guess, is taking a, a massive amount of money for this guy because the profits, despite the fact that we are continuing to make about $50,000 a month, the profits just keep dropping. So I guess, well, I guess porting it to another system would be an idea. I don't think we're going to do that. So I think we'll cancel the port job and we'll just focus on, honestly, we'll bring this down like a priority too. We need to focus on development. That's really as simple as it is. We just need this thing to be, to be decent. So we'll call some cleaning. Don't know why I called maintenance. We don't need that. And I'll call IT support. We'll have the computers looked at. We'll keep the place nice and clean. We'll have the employees come in next month again after what I assume is a vacation. And we are going to be hoping to make something good. Apparently, it's just two of us in this month. That's a little worrying, but this is coming along. I think by... I think February, honestly, is where this thing's going to need to move into its, its beta phase. I think we're essentially going to have maybe a month and a half of beta to fix some bugs, and hopefully that'll be good enough. Uh, we are, unfortunately, missing some tickets for Bucket, but at this stage, let's be honest, we <laughs> we need this to be good. We need this to be done. So full steam ahead on Bucket 2. Now, I will say, since we have a decent chunk of change, let's go ahead and upgrade all of our chairs to the ergonomic one, which is going to be good for the general environment of the office. It's nice and comfortable, and it should keep my employees relatively happy. Uh, we can go ahead and replace this one as well with the ergonomic chair. And I'm thinking I want to go ahead and just put some plants into the office as well, just to sort of boost the environment a little bit. We'll put a cactus in here as well. And let's see, what else can I do? We could do some acoustic foam to make the place a little nicer. Although what we could do, oh, what we could do is uh, we could be a little bit cheeky and it's early days yet oh i can't place it there hold on a minute i have to move oh hold on a minute where can i do this where can i can i do it here it's early days for the company so oh it's not gonna let me is it damn oh i thought we could thought we could get the nerdersoft logo in here but i don't think it's gonna happen unfortunately i just <laughs> oh it would have been so good if we could have got the logo in here, but no, that's uh, <laughs> the reception desk is just ever so slightly in the way. Damn. I was going to say we're going to do a gray version of the Nerdsoft logo, but I guess we're not doing that at all. Uh, I'll tell you what I will do, though. I'm going to get a better carpet because that one that we have just looks awful. Uh, so we'll just do something that goes just up and down the uh, the entire office here. Just something real simple that is facing the wrong way. Uh, something really, really simple that's going to just sort of improve the general environment of the space. And we'll go for the blue because I think it looks nice. And that looks all right, I guess. Although I think the chairs might also need to be kind of a blue color so that they match the uh, the carpet. So something like that looks fine. And yeah, that'll, that'll do. That's, that's, how's the environment looking in here? 200%. Acoustics are fine. Lighting was okay, and uh, good lord, we have missed a lot of tickets on Bucket, but again, that's that's just going to have to be the way of it. Unfortunately, we just, we just can't prioritize it. So another change that I've made to the office is going ahead and putting this little corner in here, and what I've realized is I could, if I wanted to, just put a PC right about there, 
And in theory, well, I guess that doesn't, I guess that doesn't actually, oh wait, no, that does work. Oh, no way. No way that's a thing. That looks terrible. Can, can they still get into the bathroom? Are they still able to access this room? Because if they are, I'm going to get a fourth employee. Which might be ridiculous. It might be kind of silly to do that. But I'm I'm curious to see if that is a thing they can do. I'm also going to... Can I save the design on this chair? Is that is that going to be an option? Let's uh, save that style. Click on you. Make it blue. And... Okay, so yeah, they are still able to access the bathroom. And I swear to God, my middle mouse button keeps stopping. It just doesn't work. Oh no, now it's working. It's really weird. There's certain, like, I just, I, I like click on a room and try to rotate the camera. It doesn't work, but I click. No, my middle mouse button is not having a good time. I don't know if it's the game or if it's my mouse that's broken. It could be the mouse, but I just, I just don't know. I guess I'm using the arrow keys for now to, uh, to rotate the camera, which is, oh, no, oh, no, no. I don't know. I don't it's working now i just i don't know i don't know if it's the mouse or what it is anyway oh now it's working okay i'm gonna get a fourth employee that's completely <laughs> slight slight tangent there uh also lost money which is interesting i guess a little bit of construction uh did happen but yeah let's let's hire another employee where is this lacking this is lacking in 2d uh development 2d programming so we'll hire a programmer secondary is going to be design i want to say and we're kind of looking for 2d so we'll begin looking compatibility is amazing your skills are actually pretty good you've got some design going on there as well uh let's sort by let's see who else have we got we got you at 28 so you can do some audio which is pretty good. You can do some networking. Networking might be good because networking is sort of the next thing that we're going to go into for a lot of this stuff, isn't it? So, Alicia Townsend, or Townsend might be a good one. Meryl Holloway could be a good one as well. Or Buford, Buford, Valdez. I'm kind of thinking Alicia Townsend. Let's, uh, what, are, what are you? You're modest, you get stressed, you're an old soul. Let's let's hire Alicia and we'll see how things go. Hopefully that means that the general development process is going to be considerably quicker. We'll also get some cleaning in here just to make sure the place is actually nice and clean. And honestly, looking at this, I don't think we're going to get this thing done. I don't think it's it's going to be done in time, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I think it'll be close. And I suppose that's that's going to be it's going to have to be good enough. It's, it's as simple as that. It's Oh, wait a minute. I just realized we have three deals down here. Oh, okay. So they're offering 15000 per day, expiring in two years. Not bad. Design for the Army Base 6 expires in two years. 16000 per day. You know what? I'm going to take that. Because at the moment, don't we have... Like, do I... Hold on, 52 days left. So as long as I finish this, we're good, right? <laughs> it's it's that simple. Do I just get paid for this? I think I do, right? I just, <laughs> do I just get paid for this? Is that how this works? Do I just sit here and the money just comes in for this deal? Oh my god, I think it does. I think as long as I finish as long as I finish the deal, I think I get paid. Um <laughs> it seems a little broken. I, I'm a little concerned that I might have found a... I say I might have found. This was suggested in the comments. So I'm not guilty of exploiting a damn thing. I'm just going to say it. I'm not I'm not exploiting anything. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's kind of wild. I'm going to be honest. That is kind of wild. Uh, I suppose let's see if we can get Bucket 2 up to 100% art and maybe 80% on the code. It's not necessarily looking like we're going to get to 80%, though, which is slightly disappointing, but we'll see. We'll call IT support as well, get the computers looked at, get the place cleaned up a little bit. We'll see what we can do here towards the end of February. 100% on the art, 75% on the code, 76% on the code. We might. I suppose there's a chance we can get it a little higher. I don't think it's going to happen. 77. What do we get by the end of today? 
Can we get a 78? We absolutely cannot. Okay, let's promote this. It needs to be in beta for a bit. It's that simple. It, it needs to be there. We need this thing to... I mean, we need it. We need it to be okay at the very least. It's, it's kind of that simple. Uh, let's go ahead and... I guess order some copies is, is what we're going to want to do. We'll slow things down for a second there. I don't think I can... I can't print this. I've got no printers. So I suppose when it releases, we'll just order a bunch of copies and everything's going to be fine. It's going out next month. It, it has to be fine. It better be fine. <laughs> I'm a little, a little nervous about this. I'm actually really nervous about this. Uh, I'm also thinking... Yeah, this thing will be done in no time at all. This will be... This will be totally fine. This, this, this is just, I'm just printing money. I've basically, I have no, you know, hardware printers, no software printers, but I am printing money and I'm, I'm kind of here for it. So good, I guess. That's how we're going to look at it. It's a good thing. Now it's the end of March. We're going into April, which means bucket two has to release. So let's get it out there. It is it's not very good. Um, <laughs> not very good but you know what we'll order 10,000 copies for $20,000 and uh in terms of support I mean let's let's try and support both let's go to update this as well we'll bring the systems and the 2d up to date and we'll just see if we can't maybe do that in a good amount of time and I mean the update is going quite quickly uh the bugs for bucket are going through quite quickly as well which is lovely maybe bring that down in terms of priority and just focus on the update for bucket two and i guess now we just hope that we make money from bucket two which by the way is good it is good compared to buckets mediocre so i'm here for it it's also more expensive which might be <laughs> might be a problem might be good for us i don't really know i've got to be honest with you i'm not sure how this is going to go we're at six hundred and sixty thousand dollars we are going to go to 677. That did not, that did not sell. It has 29 active views. What? Hold on a minute. Now hold, now hold on a minute. Now hold on a minute. I feel like that's a failure on the marketing. I'm going to be honest. I feel, I feel like the marketing has just screwed me. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, I think what we'll also do is try porting this to a couple of newer operating systems and see how that goes. I don't know how... Wait, why did I lose money? Oh, 20 grand on, on distribution. That kind of makes sense. Uh, I don't know that this port job is going to be very quick. I don't... Hmm. There's no... I also don't like that there's essentially no bugs for Bucket 2. Well, there's five. There's six now. I just... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about the fact that it seems to be just a failure. Oh no, 203 active users now. Great. So it made $6,000 last month. What if we bring that price down a bit? What if I change the price from like 62 to 55? Right? We'll bring the price down by like seven bucks and see if people are really that concerned about the price. Because they might be. Right? There's a good chance that they're they're concerned about the price. There's a good chance my employees aren't happy about the state of the office. So we'll see if we can... I mean, there's an update to go in. There's bugs to be fixed. Maybe we prioritize... Maybe we prioritize the update. Maybe that helps us out a little bit. 684 to 706,000, up to 328 active users. All right. So we're making money, right? That's, that's, that's the good news. We'll finish this update for it. We'll go ahead and queue up another update but i think what we'll do is we have 43 days left on this let's see how quickly we can do this port job because i feel like getting this onto some other platforms getting us another million potential consumers that seems like a good idea to me 328 active users 512 active users not bad I feel like Bucket itself, I, I would kind of like to cancel support for that, but I feel like doing that is a really good way to annoy... Well, I have no fans, so... I'm not really annoying anyone. It's just my, my, my business reputation would definitely take a hit if I cancel support for 5,000 active users. I have, however, missed 800 tickets. So... 
It's not as if I'm I'm doing anything with the with the tickets that are coming in. I'm ignoring them. So my business reputation is probably going to take a hit anyway. Hmm. Maybe we move out of this office and into a bed. I feel like we have enough money to move into like an apartment, right? I would need a separate office for me if we did that. So we would immediately be renting another apartment. But I feel like moving out and actually setting up a proper little studio might be a really good idea. This seems a little bit too cramped for my liking. It would be really cool if I could rent this space. But the idea is this is, you know, garage ink. And uh, essentially, this is just a house. We've basically taken over a garage and a spare bedroom and turned it into a software development studio. So I think I think we need to move out. So let's take a look. Let's go to uh, Move Company. We're not going to an empty plot. We can't do that yet. Uh, apartment Inc. is, is kind of what I'm thinking. It's a bit more expensive. It's about $1,000 more. But I think we're going to have to do it. So let's go to Apartment Inc. And what I'm going to do here is immediately start leasing this room on the other side of the hole. And we can go ahead and just start, you know, fleshing this out with essentially more offices. So let's just do one, two, three. Let's leave a gap and go one, two, three, one, two, three. And essentially that's going to be a good amount of space for my employees. Uh, we'll go for the yellow chairs this time around. We'll do something a bit like this. And we'll get ourselves some room dividers as well, just sort of down the middle of those desks so they're not staring at each other. And in terms of computers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to give me room for two more employees. I'm not necessarily going to get two more employees right away. But this does at least give me the room for them, and that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so we'll get a nice uh, nice painting right there. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is not having a good time. Not having a good time at all. I've uh, been doing a little bit of vocal work recently and it's not been going very well. That's, that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's that simple. Uh, we'll also do the initial version of the Nerdrosoft logo since I think it looks, uh, that looks kind of cool. I think it might look better in, I kind of like it in black. I think that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and keep that there. Uh, we could throw some regular uh, acoustic tiles sort of along this uh, this wall here. Although it doesn't seem like they're going to play all that well because of the uh, the divide in the wall. So maybe maybe over here we do uh, we do a row or two of acoustic tiles. Let's see what we can do and what kind of fun we can have if I just dot them sort of like this. I mean, it's, it's going to help with the, the general acoustics of the room, I suppose. So we can we can go with that. Uh, we'll do a nice plant right here. Do a nice plant right here. And maybe a nice uh, big plant sort of down in that, uh, that corner. And the room is environment 200. Temperature's fine. Lighting is perfect. So that seems like a decent little development space. Nicely decorated. Nothing too crazy. And then this space over here is going to serve double, double duty. Because on one hand, it's going to have my desk in it. And on the other hand, I'm going to try and make this a meeting space. So I kind of wonder if that's something I can pull off. I'm not too sure if it is. But we'll find out. We'll go for one, two, three, four of those. Uh, maybe this can go... Oh, I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, that's an interesting space for the computer. Uh, can I move this to here? And I'm basically going to go ahead and put some chairs around this and hope for the best. Now, I was going to go for this design for the table with this idea that, you know, my character is at the the the, <laughs> the head of the table. Um, but then I rotated the camera and I, uh, <laughs> I don't, don't think I'm going to go for that. I'm going to be honest. I think we'll... <laughs> We'll leave a gap between um between <laughs> bet betwixt the sets of tables just to uh just to be safe, you know? I think <laughs> I think what we can do is maybe maybe that and uh and we'll be okay. I don't know if this is actually gonna work as a uh, as a meeting room or not. But I'm willing to find out. I'm I'm kinda hoping it does work as a meeting room, uh, because it'd be kinda cool if it did. I also 
I want to grab all of these and I want to duplicate them and I want to put them uh, right about there. And I'd also like to go ahead and grab all of you guys, duplicate them and I believe they're right there. I want to put them right about there. So we have the logo in a couple of places. We have my desk, which this is going to need to be assigned to me, which makes this my room, I guess. And in terms of other things, we'll get a nice, uh, nice plant down there. Maybe, uh, maybe a nice plant on my desk and uh, maybe a nice light on my desk as well. Something a bit like that. There we go. This looks a little cluttered, but I'm, I'm confident it'll be, it'll be just fine. So let's see what happens. We should have employees coming in, which they are. We should have me coming into my office, which I am. And I realize we can have meetings out the back. Where have we gone? Where? Oh, we were having a meeting on the roof. So I didn't need this meeting room thing at all, which I guess is fine. I guess we'll, we'll delete that, which is, is probably for the best. Let's be honest, given, given what that almost was, I think just deleting it is, uh, very much, very, very much the right call. So it's now July of 1986 and we now have six employees. Well, that's not including these three. Well, that is including the three, not including the three founders. It's including two of the founders. We have seven people working at the company. One of them's me. One of them is, what her face, what's her face, Bella Goff. One of them's Bob Newby, and then three of them, four of them, it doesn't matter. I hired two more people. That's what I'm trying to get at. And my hope in doing that is that we can maybe deal with this port job a little bit quicker and get Bucket 2 onto a couple of new systems. I'm also thinking we probably need to prioritize the design on the Army Base 6 because I am just taking their money right now and not doing any of the work. And while I do find that kind of hilarious, I also don't want to get a bad reputation for my company. So we'll see what happens there. Hopefully we can finish this. Uh, I've also realized that we have in fact ported Bucket 2 to one of the two new operating systems. So let's see what happens with the active users. It's just over a thousand right now, 1,020 to be exact. That's going to go to 1,308. So it is, it is definitely selling and that is definitely kind of a big deal. So good, we're making progress there. I guess the next thing we do is maybe make bucket three. I'm also curious, can I buy, can I go into stocks? Can I buy, so 250,000, if I gave them 250,000 each, I would buy out their share of the company. What if I was to buy maybe $100,000 worth? so that I own a majority stake in the company. Oh, I cannot buy out Bob Newby until January of 1990 or they retire, whichever comes first. Interesting. Okay. In which case, well, we've got a couple of years to wait. That's fine. Uh, we could invest some of the money as well. And honestly, we might want to look into uh, making our employees a little bit happier as well that would potentially be an idea so employee benefits for example uh giving them a pension of maybe i don't know 50 bucks a month would be a bit of an idea life insurance will be twenty thousand per death health insurance will be ten thousand per hospitalization they're not getting a minimum raise they're not getting severance pay uh free food yes christmas bonus meh company car 4,000 per employee. I'm down. I'm down for that. I think that's okay. Company car color is going to be, I'm going to go for a blue. Nice kind of, nice kind of blue color. Seems like, uh, like the way to go. So we'll apply that. We'll apply the benefits and that'll hopefully make us a much better employer. And now we should see our employees coming in with their nice shiny new company car, assuming, you know, they're actually coming in with a car at all, which I know some of them aren't, but there we go. There's one. There's one company car. I'll take it. It's not bad at all, actually. That's 
That's a pretty good looking, that's a respectable car for 1986. Now I realize I totally forgot to get myself another reception desk. So very, very quickly, I want to go in here and I want to see, I need to change the, uh, I need to, I need to get this thing on a 45 degree angles. And I can't remember how to, uh, I can't remember how to change the, uh, the angles that I'm working with. Isn't it over here? Angle snap, uh, 45, grab you. So 45 degree angle. And this thing needs to go like here, basically. So that's our reception. Actually, can't the reception just go like here? Oh, this might actually be kind of great. Okay. So do we have a receptionist? We do not, but I can, I can hire one, which I'll absolutely do. And we should now see the receptionist come in and we should now see, hopefully some design deals come at us again. I do want to see if the receptionist can actually fit back there. Absolutely can. Perfect. So we have people coming in. We're not taking any of the deals. Not a big deal. Not super worried about that. I just want the design ones. And if slash when they come in, I'll take them. We'll make some money. We'll print free money, basically. And everything should be good. Now, I will say I don't love that we are not doing anything about the support for bucket two. I want to bring the priority up on that a little bit. And I do want to start working on an update to uh, Bucket 2 as well. So we'll go ahead and start getting that going. And hopefully that's going to keep people happy. We are getting there with the design on Army Base 6. There is, you know, 33 days left. So we'll bring the priority on that down a little bit. And maybe focus on support for Bucket 2. Maybe focus on... Wow, we're actually getting through this, uh, this update quite quickly. Let's focus on the update. Let's, let's try and make it better, right? We'll try and make Bucket 2 that much better and try and keep the customers considerably happier than they are right now because they are quite, quite unhappy with us, I would say, given that this thing's not been out very long and we seem to have all but abandoned it. Now, I have to be honest, and this might be a little preemptive of me, but I'm strongly considering the idea of a dedicated support team. And I just... I just feel like it would be a good idea. I just feel like it's something we can probably do. We can probably pull it off and it'll probably go kind of well for us because we should then see fewer complaints about, you know, not being able to keep up with support for this or not being able to keep up with support for that. I just feel like a dedicated support team might not be a bad idea. It would be one last thing that my core team needs to do. So I think... We're going to go ahead and I guess we're going to lease this room. We're going to go ahead. We're going to just grab all of the furniture in this room. We're going to duplicate it. Uh, we'll swing it around. And that was the wrong button. Uh, we're going to then just sort of just drop it right there. And that's fine. Uh, now, what I will do is go into... Let's see. I want to assign these two rooms right here. So this is going to be core team only. And then I want to go into teams. I want to go to new team. I want to go to supports, which I need to turn off caps lock to do supports and add the team. Let's make it uh, sort of a yellow kind of orangey color like so. And uh, you guys are still on crunch. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's, uh, oh. you know, someone did point out in the comments on, I don't know which episode it was. It must've been the last one that I did leave the core team on, uh, on crunch. You are absolutely right, apparently. And, uh, I feel, I, I only feel a little bit bad about it. I'll be honest. I only, I only feel a little bit bad about that. They don't seem to have complained too much about it. So I assume they don't mind. They got used to it essentially is, is what I'm going to pretend they did. Uh, now let's go ahead and assign this room to the support team. And now we just need to hire employees. So we're looking for service, I guess, specializing in support with a secondary in programming. I would say that's the way to go. Uh, we're not really interested in compatibility since it doesn't matter. And we'll just begin looking. So let's, let's go with amazing compatibility to start with. So you can do support and law. So Thaddeus Foster, welcome to the support team. And then we have you, you can do supports. You can do support and marketing. So Barney Carr, you are welcome. Uh, so you've got some uh, some support there as well. So Lynn Berry, uh, Marguerite Montgomery, I'm assuming is your surname. Am I right? I am. Fantastic name. Uh, support and law. 
and Lily Jackson, you're hired as well. How many people are now on the support team? Five of them. Okay. So let's assign support to support. And now my core team should be able to focus a little bit on updates and porting and design and all the things they need to focus on. I am going to be spending considerably more money per month on hiring people, but we should end up with a much better reputation. And looking at it, we are getting through a massive number of tickets. So that's good. That's that's what we want to be doing. So let's finish this update for bucket two. Let's just, you know, queue up another one to keep that going. And you know what? Let's queue up one for uh, for bucket as well. Let's bring it up to date a little bit and see how things go. A lot of bugs to be fixed on bucket. I'm sure the fans will appreciate an update like that, right? I would I would imagine they would appreciate an update like that. And in terms of money, uh, I'm not sure we're making any, but we'll find out. I mean, we've got, you know, we've got this being worked on. Maybe we prioritize the update to the original bucket for a while and see how things go. It's a lot of bugs. That is, that is a tremendous number of bugs that needs fixed. But here's hoping for the best. We also have some deals as well. This one for 18,000 for the next two years. You know what? Sure. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. It's really, really, really cheesy of me, but... I'm just going to take a free 18,000 every day for the next two years. I'm down. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> now, interestingly, once again, Bucket is not actually making a profit. It is making me money, but I would again imagine that the, the marketing is just taking a massive, massive amount of the, uh, the resources, or at least the profits. So I think what we'll do is start working on a sequel. It's going to be bucket three. It's going to use an existing framework, which is going to be mine. I don't remember what I called it. Bucket all was the, <laughs> the name of that framework. And uh, unfortunately, it does seem like uh, the framework isn't really going to be all that beneficial. Which is frustrating, but that's okay. Because the previous, you know, the predecessors at the very least do have, you know, a bit of a bonus to, to speed uh, modifiers and whatnot, so that's okay. I think what we'll do is we can add layers to this. It is going to have 100% expected interest, 27% wasted. It's going to take about a year to do this. Uh, and I guess price-wise, we'll do 60 flat. Uh, it's not going to have source control, and we'll just sort of go through. In terms of operating systems, I mean, release dates, I think these two, I think these three would be really good. That might bring the development time up a little bit, but 3.5 million potential consumers is uh, its too much to ignore, to be quite honest. And then in terms of a publisher, I mean, we do need a publisher for marketing. It's, it's kind of that simple. Uh, they're also only giving us about a year and a bit, be a year and a couple of months, year and nine months, essentially. So that is about all we need to do this so i'm willing to take that on in terms of who is going to lead this it is mostly going to be sanford stevenson so that's that's fine by me sanford stevenson can uh, can take this and you know has a portfolio of doing this already so let's i guess start developing uh, bucket three or as someone in the comments pointed out, bouquet. We could we could be calling this uh, this bouquet, which one day if we ever abandon this franchise, then uh, yeah, we'll probably bring it back as as bouquet. But for now, it's bucket three, which is fine. It just sounds it just sounds really basic, you know. It's what are you mate? What, what are you working on? Bucket. That just that's simple. That's it's very very simple. Uh, now let's release this update for bucket two. The port job is nearly done for Bucket 2 as well. And as long as we can stay up to date on the on the support tickets, we'll keep the fans happy. We do have 67 of them now. And also just passed a million dollars. Which is kind of a really big deal. So not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and start prioritizing, I suppose, uh, good old Bucket 3. Let's make that the priority. Try and make it as good as it can possibly be. 
it is i'm gonna be honest i kind of want it to be in beta by like october of 88 so the quicker we get through it the better as far as i'm concerned and uh, the more you guys stay on top of support the more we can focus on getting this thing done uh bucket two is two and a half thousand active users so we are probably getting to the place where we're going to start having to be a little concerned about where our money's coming from i'm assuming a competitor has released recently uh, all software sort by release date so bucket two is here 2d editor uh yeah photo styles released and it's currently minus 4.5 million wow What's the most profitable software? Oh my God, $558 million for Door OS 2. Oh, that's the company that keeps, uh, they keep publishing everything I do. Okay, so my publisher, hold on a minute. How much are they worth? $360 million. And I'm right down here at the bottom worth a million. Okay. All right, um, sure. <laughs> sure that's that's fair enough i mean it is hard mode so i guess that's to be expected right that's that's probably probably to be expected